Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a study with me. Today I am focusing on Spanish. I have recently refound my love for Spanish. Well, let me not say that. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican, so I'm gonna always have a love for Spanish, but I just haven't studied in a long time, so I've recently refound the motivation to study Spanish. So I'm going to be focusing today solely on Spanish. So Without further ado, I'm going to start with vocabulary. I have been trying for the longest time to get into Anki for Spanish. It's the fact that I didn't download pre-made cards that made me not want to study Spanish for some reason. <laughs> like doing my own cards in Spanish just, it just felt like too much work. But now we're motivated, we're ready. I have already started to make my own deck, so. I'm going to be starting off with Anki, probably about like 15 minutes, and then after that, I did get the Madrigal's Magic Key to Spanish, which everybody and their mom who has studied Spanish, you have probably seen this book. So I went ahead and got it, and I'm going to be using that. I'm basically using that book as if I'm starting from zero, because I feel like my Spanish knowledge, there's just gaps in what I know. Like for example, I could probably speak great Spanglish but a full conversation in Spanish, I probably could not do. So I'm using this book to basically start from zero with Spanish and hope for the best. And I'm probably gonna also do that for maybe 30 minutes. And then after that, I'll do around five minutes of speaking practice. I will just be speaking into a camera, nothing too grand just talking about my day or anything that I feel like talking about at that moment so I can practice speaking faster because when I speak I feel like I think too much about what I'm going to say next rather than just speaking and switching my brain to Spanish. I did the other day for the first time and I felt so accomplished so I'm going to try to keep into that habit of speaking without having to think too much about what the next word is going to be. And then I will go into some immersion. So I'll probably watch some YouTube videos or something on Netflix in Spanish so I can go ahead and practice my ear turning. Mm. Okay then. That's what I thought. <laughs> Dibujos de animador. Me hizo sentir, made me feel. El serie, la serie. Paciente, el movimiento artístico, art movement, triste means sad, pones means Japanese, me hizo sentir, upset, molesto, dibujos de animador, en mi opinión, el dibujo. As you can see, I'm losing valuable daylight, but this is a good book. <laughs> I feel like 
I know so much. Like this book is truly, like I said, filling those gaps in my Spanish and I highly recommend it and I'm literally only in lesson three. Which also makes me realize I can't speak Spanish or can't as much as I thought I could. But it's fine, this is what we're here for. We're here for the learning. But yeah, I highly recommend this book for anyone who is trying to learn Spanish. It is by Margarita Madrigal. What I also like about this book is that it comes with sentence forming exercises in them. They're very short, but they get the job done. All right, so now for the next five minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and speak. I'm going to record it on my phone. I have zero faith in myself actually, but this is what I'm doing it for. She's on my lap, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I need the practice anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and set me a five minute timer and hope for the best. Hola, este es mi primero video para practicar español. So I found it through Amir Koro, and he found it through Cameron Madison. So it's basically a method of, Amir called it story speaking. So basically in Amir's version, he said to record yourself speaking for I guess however long that you wanna do. I did five minutes. And then you want to make an Excel spreadsheet. You make three columns. The first, you make the transcription of exactly what you said in your target language for me it was in spanish and in english the second column is the things that i wanted to say and he used ai for the third column to correct your sentences i am not using ai so i'm gonna have to figure it out for spanish i feel like spanish dict is a really good website for translation so i'm probably just gonna go through there and translate it to get the correct sentences that i meant to say So this was actually a really fun exercise and I'm most definitely going to use it for literally any language that I ever want to learn. Um, so thank you Cameron Madison and I believe his YouTube is Language Lord and Amir. Thank you guys so much because <laughs> this is so useful and I wish I had done this sooner because I probably would have been fluent in Spanish by now. Yeah. If any of you are interested in like the more detailed on how to do this, I will link their videos in the description below because this is by no means my idea. So if you're interested in that, I'll go ahead and link Amir's video in the description. Pero ahora voy a cocinar mi comida porque tengo mucho hambre. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Okay. 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 Okay.